Hi everybody. Today I am going to discuss about constant force of interest. Let's first start with force of interest. It is a continuously compounded interest rate. And this force of interest at time t, it is denoted by delta sub t. If the annual effective interest rate is constant, then the force of interest is also constant. And when the force of interest is constant, then it is denoted by only delta. T is omitted. Reason is the force of interest does not vary over time. It is most important point. So let's move ahead to see details of it. This equation delta T equal to A prime T by A T. Here A prime T it is nothing but the first derivative of AT. AT is the accumulated amount at time T. And here I have written the force of interest is the instantaneous rate of increase of accumulated amount. It is A prime T as a percentage of the accumulated amount at time t a t in other way i can say the instantaneous rate of growth of investment per dollar invested at time point t and it is called the force of interest at time t That's why I have written here, which is called the force of interest. It is nothing but the ratio of these two. But the question is, how we got this? To know this, you have to visit my video, Mathematics of Finance 5. So we'll understand how it comes. But now in this slide or in this video, we will use this equation directly as delta T equal to A prime T by A T. Here our goal is to understand about the investment growth based on the force of interest and force of interest that corresponds to the simple interest and compound interest here we will drive an equation or expression for delta t so what you will do first we will consider accumulation based on simple interest at annual rate i. Now, if we do differentiation, first derivative will be pi. Now, using this formula, delta t equal to a prime t by a t, putting this pi value and this p into 1 plus it cancelling pp we get i divided by 1 plus it decreasing in t here in case of this simple interest we have to look one thing that delta t if it is decreases when it decreases as t increases so let's move in the next slide to see about compound interest
here we will consider accumulation based on compound interest at annual rate i and it is this one now if we do differentiations i mean first derivative it will be this but question is how it comes so we have to go to calculus book to see how y equal to b to the power x is differentiated and they got b to the power x l and b here we will use it directly like this so this function p into 1 plus i to the power t and additional ln 1 plus i same as this one so this is the derivative of this now very easy del equal to a prime t by a t p into 1 plus i same this one whole this term will be here and this term will be here cancelling these two we get this one important things we have to keep in your mind that in case of compound interest growth the force of interest is constant by seeing this delta you can understand here there is no t t is omitted that is why i am telling the force of interest is constant as long as effective annual interest rate is constant so seeing this we can say when the force of interest is constant the force of interest can be expressed in terms of annual effective interest rate i and it is del equal to ln 1 plus i here i have written constant in t so this is the expression rearranging we can write i equal to e to the power del minus 1 i have taken an example to solve to use both the expression from simple interest and compound interest here it says a fund accumulates at a simple interest rate 5%, another fund accumulates at a compound interest rate of 3.5%. So this is for simple interest, this is for compound interest. Now we know for simple interest formula is this one, i divided by 1 plus it, i means we have to put 5% and here compound interest it is ln 1 plus i and here in the back we can write del without t because we know it is constant force of interest so ln 1 plus i constant force of interest ln 1.035 this is 3.5 percent now here says when will the force of interest be the same for two funds so two funds have the same force of interest so easily we can write this equal to this this equal to this solving or transposing we can find t equal to in this form using calculator we find 9.07 years that was the requirements for this part it is another problem constant force of interest already we know this delta equal to ln 1 plus i because here it is delta because it is constant force of interest so we did not write here sub t rearranging it is i equal to e to the power del minus 1 we will use this expression here 5 percent interest what is the corresponding annual effective rate of interest easily we can find i putting the value of delta it is 5.13 percent very very easy problem only to use the expression what we got here another problem 
we have to use z equal to p e to the power delta t. An investment earning a constant force of interest grows 20,000 after 4 years and 24,000 after 7 years. What is the force of interest? We know this p e to the power delta t equal to 20,000 p e to the power delta t. I mean delta t means 7. Here delta t means 4. 24,000 dividing these two we get e to the power 3 delta 2 24 by 20. Easily transposing we can write del equal to 1 third ln 24 by 20. Using calculator we get it as 0 0.0608 converting to percentage 6.08 percent that's also a very easy problem that's all for today thanks for watching